Hello there and welcome back once again to Southern TV where we go above and beyond to find the trendiest stories surrounding the South African borders and share them with you. <clears throat> now before we get started, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and be sure to ring that notification bell so you can get all of our recent updates. Now let's dive right in. The Democratic Alliance celebrates a significant milestone as we proudly announce our surpassing of the ANC in the new voter registrations and re-registrations for the first time. The latest registration data underscores the DA's success in securing the largest share of new and re-registrations, marking a noteworthy achievement. However, amidst this success, we must guard against completency. Between November 23rd and January 5th, the Independent Electoral Commission recorded a total of 162,598 new re-registrations. Of these, 59,689 were attributed to the DA, constituting nearly 37% of the total. In contrast, the ANC accounted for only 33.8% of the registrations during this period. This achievement demonstrates the potential for change that lies within our grasp both during this registration period and on the election day itself. It's essential to recognize that recent legislative changes have altered voter registration rules for the upcoming elections. For the first time, voters are required to cast their ballots at the specific voting station where they're registered. This means that the option to vote at a different station on election day is no longer available. With this new law in effect, the practice of spending election day at a friend's or family member's residence and voting at the nearest station is no longer feasible. On the election day, there will be no provision for voting at the alternative station, no forms to fill out and no expectations permitted. Given the significance of this change, it's imperative that every eligible voter ensures correct registrations. Every registered voter holds the potential to contribute to the betterment of South Africa and we call upon all citizens, regardless of political affiliations, to actively participate in this democratic process. Each individual has the power to make a significance in shaping the future. Just a reminder that each individual has the power to make a difference in shaping the future of our nation. While we acknowledge the challenges encountered with the IEC's online voter registration portal, rest assured that the DA is in direct contact with the Commission and actively engaged in resolving these issues. One particular concern arises during the step in the online process while voters are required to enter their one-time PIN. Given these challenges, they strongly encourage all voters to visit their nearest voting stations for in-person registration. The IEC has admirably ensured the timely opening of voting stations with voting management devices readily available and operational. As we embrace the power of one, we emphasize that the upcoming election represents a pivotal moment of our nation. While many have pledged their support for the DA, the reality is that the outcome can hinge on just one vote. Every registered voter holds the potential to shape South Africa's destiny positively. We urge every South African who cherishes this country to embrace the power of one. We urge every South African who cherishes this country to embrace the power of one proactively. Be, be the one who registers, votes and contributes to shaping the future of South Africa. Let us collectively strive to be the positive force that propels our nation towards progress and prosperity. Thank you once again for being a part of Southern TV. Be sure to leave your comment about the matter in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more updates.